Hey guys, RPM here. Hope you're doing well and having a really great day. Well, I'm in my crypto mining barn and as you guys can see, all of my Octa miners are off. And well, I already did this in a video a couple days ago right after the merge, but I do have a few mining rigs that are still on my 6600 XTs and I am basically spec mining on these guys, which I will mention which coin I'm spec mining in another video. I don't want to raise the hash rate or, you know, the difficulty because every time I do mention a coin, it just shoots up. And so, yeah, I, I'm not going to do that. Stay tuned the next day for that video. My beautiful fish. Look at this guy. You guys like my fish? I have no friends. All right, guys, the point of today's video for me is that I am going to be turning back on my Bitmain Antminer S19J Bitcoin Miner. If you guys don't remember, I've had this thing for a decent while now and had a lot of, I guess, adventures with this thing, you know, putting it into one of these, you know, food coolers. And thank you to the gentleman who made this for me a couple months back. And this thing is just awesome. But the main point is, is that this S19J Pro, this is the 104 terahash model, is more profitable now than my GPUs, which are currently off, but we all know that GPU mining is really unprofitable anyway, but dependent on your electrical cost. But in my case right now, this guy makes about, I think as of recording, 60 to 70 to 80 cents a day at my current electrical rate, which is around almost 10 cents per kilowatt hour. So it's pretty funny because I turned this off like a couple months ago because my GPUs were essentially more profitable than the Bitcoin ASIC, right? My S19J. And so now the tides have turned. <laughs> this thing is more profitable now than the GPUs. I thought that to be pretty funny. So let's go ahead and turn it on right after a word from our sponsor. Established in 2013, Miner Dude is a 100% US-based mining hardware company. They focus on providing the highest quality GPU mining rig, which ships from their US-based warehouse and comes with a one-year warranty on all parts. They accept crypto, wire transfers, and credit cards as payment methods. They also integrate with the top crypto operating systems like Simple Mining, Hive OS, and Miner Stat. With the average delivery time of just one to five days, you can rest assured that your order will get to you extremely fast. Please visit MinerDude.com or email support at MinerDude.com for questions. Okay, so right now the temperature in the barn is about 25 degrees Celsius and then 79 or 78 Fahrenheit. So yeah, it's really not that hot right now in the barn and especially with the three 6x6600 XT mining rigs. Obviously, yeah, all of my other GP mining rig Octa miners are off right now. I have a couple 3070 rigs, which I do want to take out and consolidate to the basement with my other Octa miners that I have that are, you know, more efficient rigs. Stay tuned for that video. I'm going to have to take all these down and also blow the dust out essentially out of all these Octa miners. So that's, that's that's gonna be fun. But where am I going to move this S19J Pro, which is in essentially a food cooler because it has this contraption here in which it all like directly moves the cold air on one side and the hot air out through the back here. Okay, and I do have the exhaust pipes that the gentleman made for me, which is just amazing. That's gonna go on each side, right? I believe this is the intake and then this is the exhaust side. So I'm not quite sure where I'm gonna be placing this in the barn here, but yeah, you guys saw in the beginning my power consumption. I essentially have extra capacity, which I can turn on this, you know, 31 to 3300 watt Bitmain S19J. So yeah, it takes a decent amount of power, but it is essentially more profitable than GPUs at this current time. So temporary, it's on this table. And some of you guys do know that I am in the process of going to be moving into a new like house and a new like mining location. I have 400 amps uh, service there and everything. So I eventually do want to move this to that new place. So I'm just thinking of, I think for now, I'm probably, I don't know, it, I'm just going to have it sit right in the front here in the open. And I do have long, uh, these are C13, C14 cables, which go into the little hole here, 
with the ethernet cable as you guys can see right there okay and the two red c13 c14 cables go through the bottom okay so that's pretty much how it works into this thing and yeah might as well turn it on and uh, earn some bitcoin right let's earn some bitcoin the og cryptocurrency as everyone knows you know bitcoin mining is the king there's obviously a lot of warehouse mining for bitcoin but it's pretty funny that you know as a residential miner such as myself that bitcoin mining is still profitable right now since after the ethereum merge as the bitcoin asics are unaffected from gpu mining on ethereum as bitcoin mining right now is not efficient on mining with gpus obviously they are mined with machines like this asics okay all right let me go ahead and plug these ends in i'm gonna move the table a little bit closer here and uh you guys will will do a first time turn on and uh, listen to the beautiful beautiful i guess loud fan jet noises coming from the s19j all right be right back okay let's go ahead and plug her in i've moved the table just a little bit in front here I need some space because I guess I'm going to be taking out my Octominers like I said and I think I'm also going to be adding another mining cave rig on top because I have another 6 6600 XTs that I also want to turn on. Stay tuned for that video. Okay guys here we go. I have a 240 volt 30 amp PDU by itself. Uh, all the other three rigs are on another 30 amp PDU so that's good. So this Bitcoin ASIC is going to be by itself and we can see exactly how much power this guy is gonna draw it's gonna draw a lot okay there we go all right i hear some noises i do feel some air already i think you guys can hear it already okay yeah we got uh network connectivity that's a good sign power is in obviously it's on now so it's probably gonna start ramping up here real soon All right, yeah, there we go. It's ramping up. It's gonna sound like a jet engine real soon. <laughs> Amazing, okay, gonna keep it closed for now. Obviously we'll still hear it because I don't have the tubes on. I don't think I will put on the exhaust tubes as uh, the barn here is already isolated nobody lives in here the sound is not an issue but i'll keep it in here for now okay guys so while this is connecting i just wanted to mention like i wonder if any of you guys have bitcoin asics at home and depending on which model you have is it profitable for you to mine with an s19j at home maybe the sound or maybe the heat or maybe the power that it uses is not feasible for you at home let, let me know down below i want to know if some of you guys have i don't know s19j's or what's miners or whatever other bitcoin asics that are out there have you guys turned them on recently for those that are gpu miners are you essentially bitcoin asic mining as well let me know down below i'm curious i'm curious all right so as of recording today i'm going to keep track of how much bitcoin this thing is going to mine and yeah maybe i'll do i don't know a couple months update maybe a month update or something if people really care about you know how much this s19j is making every month and then i will just yeah i'm not going to sell the bitcoin that it's going to mine obviously i'm going to be hodling it so every month i'll do the i guess the profit calculations and you know how much electric we're using and all that good stuff let me know if you guys are also interested in that all right here's the s19j it says it takes about 3250 to 60 watts here are my three 6600 XT rigs. It's around 1620 watts, roughly. So about half of what the S19J is doing. But apparently the S19J is still somewhat profitable at like 50 to 80 cents or something. And then on my 6600 XTs, I'm not quite sure what the profitability is because I don't think there's any exchange that has the coin that I'm trying to mine on these. Just speculating on. Stay tuned in a video tomorrow, I'm gonna uh, you know, uh, I'm still deciding if I'm gonna say it or not. Every time I do talk about a coin, a bunch of people move over to it and then the difficulty gets high. Some of you may know which coin I may be mining on these as I have talked about it in live streams and on other people's live streams. <laughs> Let me know down below. I'm kind of curious uh, for those that may know or not. Anyways, all right guys, 
so yeah, the S19J is mining now. We're earning that sweet, sweet Bitcoin. And we're gonna see how much we're going to make in, I guess, a month's time. Yeah, that, that, that'll be fun. It's, it's pumping out a lot of heat right now. That is, that is a lot of heat. Woo! I forgot how much this thing produces. Yeah, 3,200 watts of heat, essentially. And the cold air is being funneled through this area here. So that's all well and good. Okay, here's like the funnel for the heat exhaust for the power supply and exhaust for the, uh, the Bitcoin chips, ASIC chips in the back here. Yeah, works good. Works really good. All right, my friends. Thanks for watching. Let me know your thoughts. Have any of you turned on your S19Js or any Bitcoin ASICs because it's more profitable uh, than GPUs at this moment. I'll see you all in the next video. Have a good one. And peace out.